Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton, your host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. This is a show where we bring you key experts in the fields of nutrition, prevention, integrative and lifestyle medicine, review the medical literature, and we review case studies. Today's show topic is blood flow to the brain, cognition, and resveratrol therapy. Uh, I just recently did a podcast, in fact, last night, there will be a link to this uh, YouTube uh, regarding uh, Dr. Uh, Howe and his colleagues' work on two particular articles. One was evidence for circulatory benefits of resveratrol in humans in the annals of New York Academy of Sciences. And the other was low-dose resveratrol improves cerebrovascular function, that means to the brain, in type 2 diabetes and nutrition and metabolism and cardiovascular diseases. And he's been a researcher for over 40 years. His, his interests are vasoactive compounds. He calls them com compounds that help um, dilate or increase blood flow to certain areas of the body. And so he's been studying resveratrol, trans-resveratrol, which is actually synthetic uh, resveratrol. We know resveratrol as, it can come from peanut skins, uh, nut weed, but the most famous is red wine. But interestingly, there's over 1,300 polyphenols um, like resveratrol in red, red wine. So there's more than just resveratrol. And what's interesting is they did a study where they found out that just 30 milligrams a day improve twice a day of resveratrol, this transresveratrol, improved endothelial function, the, the dilating of, of the blood vessels to increase blood flow. Now, if everybody says, well, how much red wine is that? That's equal to five liters if you're going to get that much resveratrol. Um, so that's probably a little impractical. And, but remember, red wine has other polyphenols that are protective. So anyway, in their studies, uh, in the diabetics, uh, diabetic study and in their other studies, they've shown that about 75 milligrams of this transresveratrol actually improves blood flow uh, in endothelial function and in particular cerebral or to the brain blood flow, which can help with cognition. They did that in diabetics. So that's very, very uh, powerful. And, and he, he relates in, in the interview that, you know, some people go up a lot of higher doses, but we don't have proof of that, and it may be, you know, some toxic side effects. So 75 milligrams is a sweet spot, at least for right now, until they do more uh, further investigation. Now, the other reason it might help, aside from just dilating blood vessels, or the blood vessels due to endothelial function, nitric oxide, is that it helps um, with the permeability of, of the endothelium. It helps make it not so permeable, so actually toxic compounds can't be absorbed into the brain, and, and that may be another way it helps with cognition. So it's very exciting type work here and, and so the, the places where you might use resveratrol are obviously in aging individuals who want to improve cognition but also in those at high risk. So those would be diabetics, uh, those would be hypertensives and interestingly enough his third study which um, they're not completed yet but it's uh, entitled Clinical Evaluation of the Effects of Chronic Resveratrol Supplementation on Cerebral vascular function, cognition, mood, physical function, and general well-being in postmenopausal women um, in the journal Nutrients. And what they're finding out is, though it's not published yet, that there, yes, is increased blood flow in these postmenopausal women. And the benefit may come from not just what we talked about, resveratrol improving endothelial function and increasing blood flow, but also resveratrol may act like some of the soy isoflavones. They may mimic estrogen which may have other cognitive benefits um, as weak estrogens. So that's more to come. He's very excited about that study. So in, in review, 75 milligrams of a transresveratrol, which is synthetic, twice daily, may be beneficial in improving blood flow, not just to the heart area, but to the brain. As usual, I will have links to those and, and the abstract, links to those abstracts, all three of those studies in my summary below, below this YouTube. Uh, there'll be a link to the podcast so you can listen to Dr. Howe all the way from Sacramento to uh, Australia. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a fabulous day and sign up for my health letter. Talk to you soon.